So I'm gonna show you guys the technique I've been using to get seven day colonization out of my grain jars. So typically, when I do um, dry grain, I'll, I'll do a, gray, a quart jar filled all the way to the top, and I'll do three, or excuse me, four of these quart jars filled with dry grain, and then I'll usually fill up 12 jars when it's all been hydrated. I can get 12 full jars. The way I've been doing this tech though, is uh, I'm actually getting, my grain is stretching further, so one of these is actually filling up four of these. So if I'm doing four jars here, I'm getting 16 full quart jars. Um, and the big difference that I've been doing is I used to just do a 24 hour soak of my grain and put it in a bucket like this, let it soak for 24 hours, and then I put it through its process of uh, drying off and pressure cooking. Um, <clears throat> but I was trying to speed the process up and I read a tech, you could boil the water, you could bring the water, put it, your grain in the water, bring it to a boil, then let it simmer for about 30 minutes and it'll expand the grain and it'll absorb the water and that'll speed up the tech. Um, what I noticed when I did that though is I actually started getting bacteria showing up into my grain jars and I wasn't sure why. Well, it turns out that if you don't do a 12 to 24 hour soak, there's a bacteria in the grain that will, it stays dormant until it actually does that soak. And when you boil the water, you don't get that, uh, that bacteria to come to life and so it'll, so it'll die. So it kind of stays dormant in there. Then once it's gone through the pressure cooking process, the bacteria can come to life and it'll you know, destroy the grain. So I started mixing the best of both worlds and I found that when I did that, I was doing a boil on my water and then I let it sit in the water for another 12 hours. So the next day I would come get the grain and put it into my jars. And when I started doing that, I started noticing seven day colonization times on my dung loving mycelium, which I thought was fantastic because normally I'm about 14 days. So I'm gonna show you guys what the tech looks like and how I've been going about that. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side test one that's just been soaking for 24 hours, no boil. And then I've got another back here that's been, that I put, the, put through the boil and I let it soak for another 12 hours. We're gonna do a side by side and see which one actually colonizes faster and make sure it's not just my imagination. Okay, so here's the first bucket. In this bucket I have two full quart jars of dry grain that I've let soak for 24 hours. So I'm gonna put it on the colander here and let this stuff dry out. Again, this grain is just a 24 hour soak, there is no boil with this grain. That's been about an hour, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, jar up this grain now. So this is the grain that sat for uh, 24 hours and just water. I fill my, uh, my jars up about three quarters, that way there's room when the mycelium starts to start to harden and take it all over. You can still give it a shake and there's room for the, for the grain to expand, so I don't go all the way to the top. Okay, so as expected, I got about six jars. This jar is actually a little bit, it's only about half full, so I didn't even get quite six jars uh, from just the soak. So now I'm going to do the boil and soak, and I'll show you the difference between how many jars. And keep in mind that the boil and soak has the exact same amount of grain uh, as this, just the soak has in it. Okay, and now this is the, uh, the soak and boil. All right, so the first one we got uh, six jars, and the second one we got seven. I was expecting to get about eight, but it was a, it ended up being seven. So still an extra jar, same amount of grain, and you get an extra jar by doing the boil and the soak method. Um, and then I'm going to show you we're going to pressure we're going to uh, put these to the pressure cooker, and then we'll colonize or excuse me, we'll inoculate, and we'll see how long it takes for them to, to uh, colonize. And Okay, so um, yesterday we went through and I showed you guys the soak versus the boil and soak method. 
And what we have here is this jar right here is our boil and soak. This jar here is just a soak. This had a 24 hour soak, this had a 12 hour soak. So boil plus 12 hours, just uh, 24 hours of soaking in a bucket full of water. That's all there is to it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll mark these, which one's which. The smaller lid is the, is the boil and soak, the larger lid is the just soak.